Let's talk about Sarasota. Stay tuned, I'll tell you more. Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of Out and Around with Mike 2023 style. My name is Mike Rennick. I am your host for this video. I wanted to do, I did some research on the historical aspects of Sarasota, plus jumping into the, uh, the future to today, what are some of the fun things to do around here. And I couldn't think of a better place than the iconic, iconic kissing uh, soldier, kissing sailor statue there behind me. And we've done a video on that in terms of uh, what that means. So let's just talk about Sarasota. It's a great community here. It's one of the many communities that we serve here at Team Rennick. And I'm gonna do some reading because I wanna get this right. So I've done the research. So Sarasota actually is a city located on the Gulf of Mexico on the southwest western coast of the state. Since we're out in the city, you're gonna hear the, uh, see the sights, you're gonna hear the sounds of the noise behind us also. So the area has a long history dating back to the indigenous people who lived there for thousands of years before the European settles, settlers arrived. In the 1500s, Spanish explorers came to the area, but it wasn't until the mid 1800s that the first non-native settlers arrived. The first permanent settlers were William and Mary Whitaker, who arrived in 1843 and established a homestead on Sarasota Bay, way back in the first half of the 1800s. In the late 1800s, the city began to grow as more people moved to the area. In the early 1900s, jumping ahead, Sarasota became known as a, known as a winter resort destination for wealthy northerners, and many grand hotels and resorts were built in the city. During World War II, the U.S. government used the area for military training, but after the war, the city population and the development continued to grow. In the 50s and 60s, that's 1950s and 1960s, Sarasota became a popular destination for retirees and second home owners, attracted by the city's natural beauty, beauty the amenities, and a slower-paced lifestyle. Even today, we still have that with a lot of snowbirds coming down, a lot of folks retiring and moving down here. In recent years, Sarasota has continued to grow and develop, becoming a vibrant and diverse city known for its arts and its culture, outdoor activities, and of course, the historical landmarks like one behind me. The city is home to several museums, art galleries, theaters, as well as a variety of outdoor activities, fishing, boating, beach going, golf, um, uh, just a whole bunch of stuff out here. It also has a reputation for its diverse culinary scene, that's my favorite, the restaurants, and a variety of internationally renowned festivals and events. So it, um, when you take a look at it, and let's come into today, what are some of the things you can do as a visitor or a resident of Sarasota? Well, you can visit Siesta Key Beach, which is known for its white sand and clear waters. You can take a tour of the Ringling Museum of Art, which features a wide range of art and artifacts. Explore the Marie Selby Botanical Garden, which features a variety of plants and flowers. Visit the Mount Marine Laboratory and Aquarium, which has a variety of marine life on display. You could take a trip up the Mayaka River at the State Park, which offers hiking, camping, and wildlife viewing opportunities out there. Visit the Sarasota Jungle Gardens, which features a variety of animals, including flamingos and alligators. Of course, it wouldn't be Florida without that. You can visit St. Armand Circle, a popular shopping and dining destination. Take a guided tour of the historic district of downtown Sarasota. You can take a sunset sail or a dolphin watching tour on Sarasota Bay. Take a trip to the Sarasota Classic Car Museum, one of my favorite. Enjoy a round of golf at one of the many golf courses in the area. You can take a, um, a kayak or a stand-up paddleboard tour of the nearby mangrove um, areas. Visit Sarasota Farmer's Market on Sarasota Saturday morning. There's just a whole lot of stuff that's happening right now. It's really, I, I relocated down here from Michigan. I love that state up there but they have that four letter word that I don't like called snow. So it's just beautiful. You know, this is being filmed at the end of January. I'm in a short sleeve shirt. What you can't see is um, Brandon, who's our new um, team member, is helping me today. And he's got a hooded sweatshirt on with the hood point, um, pulled up. So I'll have to tease him about that. But it is a beautiful day here. We should see temperatures today up in the upper 70s. So let's share your thoughts. I'll put a link below. What are your thoughts about Sarasota? Thumbs up. Thumbs down, why? What are your thoughts in terms of, is this a great place to live? I personally think it is. Also, if I could be of any help, my personal, my direct cell is 941-400-8735. Thanks for watching. Take care, everyone.